Hey guys, what's up? Today I have come up with a brand new tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a low poly model into a high detail realistic model. This method is a key technique in the gaming industry. If you want to work in the gaming industry, you must know this method. To make the pillow, we will first take the shape of a rectangle. and increase its subdivision width, height and depth. And go to vertex mode, select vertex and press B and turn on soft selection mode. Now I will scale the vertex and give the object the shape of a pillow. I will adjust all the vertex and try to make the pillow look a little softer, but not too much. Now I will create the border of the pillow, press Ctrl E to extrude and adjust the thickness. I am scaling it up a bit so that the border is a little highlighted. I will give an edge loop here and scale it a bit to make the border a round shape. And I will select those two edges and scale them a bit and bevel them. Now I will go to mesh and smooth. Alright, we will do the detailing in ZBrush and for that we need to make a UV map of this model. So go to UV, select Planner and click on this box. We will do the projection from Y axis because a large part of this model is being exposed to Y axis. Ok, then apply. Open the UV editor. I have closed this box now. Now I will cut the border edges to open the map. Select edges and cut. Select edges and cut. Ok, now I will right click here, select UV and by selecting all the UV I will go to modify then unfold. Now the UV is unfolded. Right click again and select the UV shell and move those two UVs a little. Now I will cut the edges of this border. Right click to select the UV again, then select all UVs and unfold. Now I will adjust the UVs and put them inside this box. Always remember that UV should be inside this box, otherwise the model cannot be detailed in ZBrush. I can see by clicking on the checker that the texture is not stretched anywhere, which means UV mapping is fine. Now I will export the complete model in ABX format. Come to ZBrush, then click on import and select the ABX file. Now press shift, right click and drag it. After that I am going to turn on the edit option. Okay. 
I don't like the default material so I am changing it. I am going to increase the subdivision of the model for detailing. You can increase it from geometry or you can increase it by pressing Ctrl D. Before I start detailing, I would like to say that you can use ZBrush default brushes to make folds and wrinkles but I think this can be done efficiently using a wrinkle brush. So here I am using some brushes which are absolutely free. I have given the link in the description, you can download them. I am now going to import the brushes, go to the brush, click on the load brush option, go to the folder where the brushes are saved, select the brushes and open it. I will be reducing the intensity and changing the alpha. I will have to increase the subdivision. Now it looks good. Here the detailing is completely depend on one's own imagination. You can use references if you want to. Remember this sign means draw and this sign means drag. I will adjust the pillow a little. Okay. Now I will be creating the displacement map. Go to the Z plugin and set this here. Now click on Multimap Exporter. Select displacement. I will keeping the map quality to 2K. Remember the flip option must be kept on, otherwise the map will be exported in a reverse manner and that would create a problem. Click on export option, then file name and I will be setting the UV ID format in UDIM. Ok. I have set the mid value to 0 and I have set the map border value to 4. If you want, you can take a screenshot of my export settings. Ok. Now click on the create all maps, give a name, and ok. Let's go back to Maya and take a snapshot of the UV map to create textures in Photoshop. Ok. We have opened the file in Photoshop. Now we will be creating a normal map to create a stitch effect. I am using this image for the normal map. Let's make it. Now we'll be merging all the layers, then we'll go to filter, 3D, then generate normal map. I am keeping the valuation as it is, ok. Now save this.
I have imported the image that I will be using as texture and I will be arranging it too. Let's save this. I will be making a backdrop here. and I will be adding two lights to test the material. So first we'll go to Hypershade, then select Arnold Standard Surface, select the model, right click and apply. Then select Displacement Mat, then File, Displacement 1, then select Displacement Map and open it. I have changed the filter type to Off, then change the UV Tiling Mode to UDIM. You can see that the displacement map has been applied well and wrinkles have been created in our low poly model. Now apply the normal map. Go to the geometry, then click on this checker of bump mapping, select file, click again and change this option from bump to tangent space normal. Click here, select normal map and open. Now we can also see the normal map. I am repeating the texture of the normal map to increase the density of stitches. Now I will be applying the color map. Do share your valuable comment about this video. Please hit the like button and share the video with your friends. I have set a target to complete 5k subscriber by next month. So please subscribe and press the bell icon. I will come soon with a new tutorial. Stay healthy, stay safe. Until then, bye.